Hello students, how are you all? Hope you are staying at home and you are staying safe. So today here I am with another chapter from your science book that is heat. So what is heat? We all know heat is a form of energy and this energy helps to increase the temperature of certain object where it is applied. Now, how you, have you ever seen heat? No, we cannot see heat. But what we can do, we can feel it. So in this chapter, we will learn all the components of heat and how it is measured and how it is transferred from one object to another. Heat is a form of energy. You all know that. Now let me ask you some questions. So if I ask that, do you think tea is hot or cold? What it is? It is hot. Yeah, if we keep it for some time, it will become cold. But how what we prefer to eat? We prefer to drink tea hot. And what about ice creams? Cold. And pizza? Hot or warm. Soup? Hot. Cold rings? Cold. Cold coffee? Cold. Milk? Now, some may like drinking milk hot, some may like drinking milk cold. It's up to you. But students, how you will say that substance is hot or cold? Yeah, you can say by touching it. But if something is, you know, boiling at 100 degrees Celsius, you cannot touch it. Yes or no? So, the feeling of the touch is not the only thing by which we can say the object is hot or cold. Now let us perform a simple experiment to ensure that that we can rely on our feeling that if I we touch something and if we feel it is hot then it is actually hot or if we touch something which is cold and we feel that it is cold that is actually cold. So we have a simple experiment and the setup is also very simple like in the left hand side, so you can see there are three bowls and in the three bowls, in the, this bowl, in the left hand side, I have kept cold water. This is ice cold water which I have taken out from my refrigerator and in my right hand side, it is warm water. Students, it's not boiling water, it's warm water and in the middle of middle bowl, I have kept normal water from tap. Now what you need to do is you I am dipping my two or three fingers in this bowl this bowl contains warm water and I am dipping my four fingers in the of my left hand in this bowl which contain ice cold water so my right hand is feeling warm or hot and my left hand is feeling cold now what I need to do I will now dip my both hands in my four fingers of my two hands in the middle bowl where the water the temperature is normal or it is tap water when I am dipping my fingers here my right hand is saying the water is cold but my left hand I'm feeling from my left hand that the water is warm so my two which of my hand is lying tell me which hand is liar so students I want that that you should perform the same experiment at home and please tell me what was your observation. Please don't forget to comment it and say that what you felt. The experiment which we have performed by that we have understood that only by touching we cannot say the object is hot or cold. We need to know the temperature. Now students what is temperature? The temperature of an object is the degree of hotness or coldness means how hot the object is or how cold the object is. Temperature is measured by a device known as thermometer. Now there are different types of thermometer. Broadly the thermometers are divided into two types. One laboratory thermometer, two clinical thermometer. Now one by one we will discuss about the two thermometers and their different types. Coming to clinical thermometer. 
the clinical thermometers are those thermometers which you which you find at home whenever someone is not well he or she is having fever we generally measure our body temperature or their body temperature with that thermometer if you have seen the thermometer then you will see that there are two scales are given one is in celsius and another one is in fahrenheit what is celsius and fahrenheit celsius and fahrenheit are unit for measuring temperature like unit for measuring length is meter unit for measuring substance like apples grapes are kg kilogram or the unit for measuring distance is kilometer in the same way the unit for measuring heat is kelvin or celsius but and you will notice that there is a range means in case of celsius the range is from 35 degree to 42 degree and in case of fahrenheit it is 94 to 108 and you should know that the normal body temperature in celsius is 37 degree celsius and in fahrenheit it is 98.6 degree fahrenheit one more thing students if i'm saying a temperature your normal body temperature and that doesn't mean each and every one will have 37 degree celsius see human body is a diverse system like each and every one is different so you may have little bit less or your parents may have little bit more that doesn't matter but it remains plus minus it remains within the range of 37 degree celsius okay now if you see closely and if you see the gradation from 36 to 37 you will see 10 small marks are there means from 36 to 37 it is divided into 10 small part means each small part is equal to 1 by 10th of a celsius that is 0.1 degree celsius so the 1 by 0.1 degree celsius is the accuracy by which you can measure the temperature so if you see a clinical thermometer closely then you can see that it is made up of a glass tube and at the end of the tube there is a glass bulb in that glass bulb mercury is present and if you see minutely then there is a small or a very uh, thin tube inside the thermometer whenever the heat is applied on the bulb of the thermometer the mercury expands and it moves to through that tube and when it stops the place where it stops shows the temperature of that object one more thing if you see it clearly see in the picture that in that tube inside the glass there is a bend that bend is known as kink now why that bend is present it is very important for clinical thermometer so whenever you are measuring the temperature of an of a person what you do we generally take the thermometer and keep the thermometer in inside the person's mouth we generally place it under the tongue and we keep it for 1 minute and we take it out when we are taking the thermometer out the bulb is not in contact with the person so the mercury may fall in order to stop the back flow of the mercury that kink is present so when you will take it out you can easily see the temperature one more thing you will notice after seeing the term temperature what we do we generally jerk it why we are jerking it when we are jerking it the force is applied and the mercury falls from that bend and it is again it again settles in the bulb there are different kinds of clinical thermometer in this video i have shown you four types one is the first one is mercury thermometer second one is digital third one is minimum and maximum and the fourth one i have added it it is infrared thermometer now let us know about all the types clearly now the mercury thermometer are the thermometer which we generally have in our homes nowadays many of us also have digital thermometer in case of digital thermometer mercury is not present and that you don't need to read the mark already there is a display and there the temperature is displayed clearly like 
37 degree celsius or 38 degree celsius the next one is minimum and maximum thermometer now what is minimum and maximum thermometer it is nothing it is a type of thermometer which measures the minimum temperature of the day and the maximum temperature of the day and the last one is infrared thermometer now student this type of thermometer previously i don't think it was so common but after covid 19 we have you seen that the people in the airports or in the in offices they are having a gun type of thing and with that they are measuring the temperature it is nothing see you need to know some basic things like when an object is hot it emerges some rays and those rays are known as infrared rays and these rays can be measured like the in that infrared thermometer there is a receptor where they can receive the infrared rays those are emitted from that body or that person and they can say the temperature they can read the temperature of that person see why they are using infrared you know covid 19 is a very communicable disease if you touch someone the virus you may get infected by that virus so if we need to measure the temperature with the digital one or the mercury one we need to keep the thermometer close contact with direct contact with that infected person but in case of infrared we don't need to touch the person we just need to keep the thermometer close to that person so that the rays can be received by the thermometer and the thermometer will show the temperature for using clinical thermometer there are some precautions that need to be followed foremost and the first precaution is you need to wash the clinical thermometer with an antiseptic solution now why we need to wash because whenever we are measuring the temperature of a person that means the person is suffering from a illness or he is sick that means that disease or sickness may be communicable and if we, we are not washing the thermometer then that disease can come from that infected person to a normal person secondly whenever you are measuring the temperature you need to see the mercury mark the mercury is below the 35 degree celsius if it is not below the 35 degree celsius then you need to jerk it and make it below 35 degree celsius and the mercury line should be held in in the line of your sight suppose if you are measuring the temperature then it should be this, the uh, sight should be in the in the thermometer should be at the line of your sight one more thing the last one is you should never hold the thermometer in its bulb because in that place it may break that is the most fragile area of the thermometer and you know mercury is toxic so we need to handle the thermometer with extra care coming to laboratory thermometer laboratory thermometers are the thermometers which are used in labs for measuring the temperature of different chemicals now this laboratory thermometer have a higher range than the clinical thermometer in case of laboratory thermometer the range is from minus 10 degree c to 110 degree celsius but in case of clinical it was from 35 degree celsius to 42 degree celsius why why there is a difference between the two range see the human body can will never exceed the temperature above 42 degrees celsius or it will not go below 35 degrees celsius as we can maintain our body temperature but for labs we need to measure a huge range of temperature so its range is from minus 10 to 110 degrees celsius now if we see close to the uh, uh, thermometer you will find that between 10 degree to 20 degree or 20 degree to 30 degree there are 10 division means one division here is equal to 1 degree celsius in case of clinical thermometer it was 0.1 degree celsius now by this you can imagine the accuracy of the two thermometer means the clinical thermometer can measure the change in thermometer of 
the change in temperature of uh, of 0.1 degree celsius but in case of laboratory thermometer they can measure the minimum temperature of 1 degree celsius now one there is one more difference between laboratory thermometer and clinical thermometer if you see close to it in clinical thermometer there was a king called bent but there is no such bent present in the laboratory thermometer there are some precautions that need to be followed for using laboratory thermometer first one the laboratory thermometer should be kept upright means it should be in a vertical position it should not be in slanted position second one is the bulb of the laboratory thermometer should be completely immersed inside the liquid means the bulb the all the sides of the bulb should be covered with the liquid so in order to get the accurate temperature third one is the bulb of the thermometer should not touch the side or the bottom of the container and the last the most important one we have already discussed that laboratory thermometer do not have any king so if we take out the thermometer and then if we measure then we will not get the value we have to read the temperature while the bulb of the th thermometer is kept immersed inside the liquid means we will not touch the setup before taking the temperature before measuring the temperature that means we cannot take it out and read it students in this video we have talked about heat how it is measured temperature and different kinds of thermometer in the next video we will learn about how heat is transferred so stay tuned and be at home stay safe Bye